Well, hello there, guys. I've uh, been receiving a lot of messages, YouTube messages, asking how to make a Garry's Mod 13 dedicated server, not Garry's Mod Beta dedicated server. Uh, I've already made a, a tutorial on how to make the Beta dedicated server, but I'm gonna show you quite detailed how to make a Garry's Mod 13 dedicated server. A dedicated server is the opposite of a listen server. Uh, a dedicated server is a separate program. It is not in Garry's mod itself, the game I mean. It's a separate program that runs a server. So let's go ahead. Go to your local internet browser and uh, go to steampower.com or store.steampower.com. And scroll to the very bottom. Uh, it's, an, it's a little hidden thing. It's actually under this tools tab down here. As far as I know, there isn't support for a Linux version of the dedicated server. So if you're planning on having this on Linux, may the gods be with you. I'm not entirely certain that this is still the case, but I believe so. So download it and wait. And there we go. Uh, setup is not complete. Resume. Uh, so here we are. Uh, this is quite an easy task, but uh, there's one little thing. Don't just press next, 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 next. Um, right, here we are. Uh, I've already installed a dedicated server, but it's very important that you remember you have a simple, easy to remember directory in which you install the server. So I'm gonna call this gmod x uh, dedicated. gmod dedicated. Let's do that. Okay. c slash gmod dedicated. That is what I'm going to call it. So remember where you put it because just if you don't want to fuck up just uh, put it in the same place that I put it. Okay. Next, and next, and uh, whooping, I'm actually in Europe, North Norway, and uh, we do not want to view the readme. So now we're pretty darn far, I tell you. Open computer, guys, not dedicated, and here we are. And uh, the next thing is to. Right click, new, text document, and re... okay, we can, we can call this uh, update, and we open it, we write this, and only this, uh, AGLDS update tool, command, update, game, Okay, here it is. This is the difference between the previous tutorial. Instead of Gary's Mod Beta, we write Gary's Mod. Eh, that's how easy it is. And dear punctuation. Okay, then we control S or save and X out the window. Now, this is important. As you can see, I have the .txt thing here. If you do not have this, right click, properties, never mind, that was my mistake, press alt if you don't see this bar up here, tools, folder options, view, and then untick this one, hide extensions for known file types, it should not be ticked, okay, that way we can, oh, god damn it, uh, rename, Select this and change it to bot, like a bat. And yes, we want to change it. And now comes the hard part. We need to double click this. Oh, there we go. It worked. Oh, damn it. There we go. And now it's updating. Yes, it should update. I guess it's taking a while. This might actually take a couple of hours, so I am. Um, I'm just gonna cut here and be right back. 
Okay, the files seem to be downloaded now, so what we're gonna do is to carry over to Orangebox. And by the way, when the game gets updated, when it it gets quite often updated, don't it? So when this happens, just double click the update dot bot and the server will update. Uh, go to orange box and you see this srds.exe. Whilst downloading the files, I remember that we didn't need to remember the directory of the server. Because we're gonna do it like this. Uh, right click and drag the icon. Not a normal drag, a right click drag. Down to your desktop or wherever you want to have your shortcut to start your server. We're gonna call this start server. Oops. Right click, properties. I'm gonna show you my little, for <laughs> the shortcut for my dedicated server. Let's see, the first um, launch option that I use is dash console. This is to get a fancy little console to look at the errors in the Lua script, for example. Or yeah, lots of messages or putting commands pretty easily. Stuff like that. The game is going to be Gary's mod. Let's carry on. Yes, uh, when, when or if you're going to port forward your server. Uh, this is the port, it's one of the ports you have to port forward. I'll have to make a own tutorial on how to do this because it's very very hard to teach people how to port forward because everyone has a different router don't they you need to access your router and uh, add a couple of ports to port forward um, yeah I'll tell you guys how to do that later you'll need to have ports port forwarded <laughs> to port forward port ports to be able to host your server worldwide. If you don't port forward, you might... People from another country or not on your local area network might not be able to join your server. It might become a LAN game anyway. But uh, for now, just put port 27015. Plus max players See, it was, yes, I put 6 in there. You can change this to 128 if you want to. Map, I'm just going to choose GM Construct. And then, I believe it's the game mode. And if you're following my coding tutorials, this should be game mode space example. And remember, it's, the, it's a plus, not a dash or minus this time. Game mode example. Uh... If you want to have sandbox, you just change this to sandbox. Okay. It's as easy as that. Press OK. I'll press OK on both of them. You can, you can actually put this back here if you want to. And it should start the server. Yes, allow access. Stupid firewall. Couldn't open file. Okay, whatever. That's probably all right. And yes, here's all the physics models which are fucked. Logging onto an Anemius Scheme server account. Yeah, but the server is working, so I guess we'll stop it there. You might have problems when people try to join your server because they can't find it. That is because of the port forwarding. Just Google port forwarding and it should give you some articles on how to do that, okay? But for now, this is how you set a big Gary's Mod 30 and dedicated server. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye and may the bro code be with you.